We can't trust Plato's version because so many of his claims are easily debunked, such as Atlantis being 150 miles away from Athens when Athens wasn't even around for another 8,000 years. Same for the name of the Pillars of Hercules. He didn't arrive until 8,000 years later. But we can say a few things ring true. 1. City built in circles. We know the Anunnaki did this. 2. It was sunk. Emerald tablets of Thoth agree with this. 3. Some of the people from Atlantis went to Egypt. Emerald tablets of Thoth also agree with this. They are the only things we can say for sure. Everything else is made up as a huge story, as I've proven in my previous videos. So, where do I think Atlantis is? I believe it is here. The reasons why are, number one, the name Heraclean was given to the sunken city because divers found one tablet with that name on. They found other tablets with that name on, but because Heraclean was mentioned in another tablet found in Egypt, they assumed it was that city. Number two, researchers have agreed it was a city that sank, and that they say that 64 ships sank at the same time. Number three, the majority of it was sunk. Researchers state the hard clay turned rapidly into liquid and the buildings collapsed into the water. This would match with Thoth's account in the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Ships, however, would not have sank if it was just the clay that went soft. Something attacked the ships. Number four, the ancient Sumerian texts that have been translated talk about a pyramid war around eight to 9,000 years ago, where Iana, or Inanna, went around in her chariot, destroying cities from above. Number five, all of the Anunnaki who were there at the time all stayed local to Mesopotamia and Egypt. None of them were at that time in South Africa or anywhere else. Number six, the Anunnaki built their cities in circles and there is no record of any other advanced race on the planet ever other than the Anunnaki. Divers found walls in circles. The actual words are, the city extended all around the temple and a network of canals in and around the city must have given it a lake dwelling appearance. Number seven, Ningazida, who was the Anunnaki that designed the pyramids, see Lost Book of Enki and Emerald Tablets of Thoth, built Atlantis and being the master builder he was, Atlantis would have been more sophisticated than the other cities. Ningazida, Thoth, was also warned off Atlantis before Ayana attacked trying to kill Marduk. He left and took his Anunnaki tech with him to Egypt. See the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Number 9. Atlantis was within walking distance of Egypt, but at the time Marduk, who was also known as Ra, was the leader in Egypt. Number 10. Divers found statues of Amun, who we know as Ra, who was Marduk as the Anunnaki. Why him? and not any of the other gods or pharaohs from that dynasty. Number 11. The great temple at Thonos Heraclion was that of Kernishnu Thoth, as we call him. Number 12. Plato said that to get to Atlantis you need to go through the Pillars of Hercules. However, we know they were not called that 9,000 years ago, but where Plato is talking about is an actual place later named that the place you would have to pass through to get to Heraclean. Number 13, over time, the remaining part of the city finally collapsed into the sea. Number 14, Heraclean is now actually informally known as Egypt's Atlantis. I am turning off the comments on this video because I've learned that people who have not seen my other videos will try and make me look silly, when in fact I've given all the information they would need throughout all my previous videos and they won't be bothered to go back and watch them. So I'm not going to spend my time replying to questions that I've already answered within my other videos. There are more reasons why I believe this is the place, and I'll do a longer video on my Patreon page. Thank you for watching.